What's the difference between injecting here, here, and here? Two of these injection points are actually commonly done, but one is not for aesthetic medicine. The one we usually do with aesthetic medicine is this injection point here. Let's have a look here at the anatomy to see why. This is where the strongest part of the orbicularis oculi muscle resides, and when you're treating lateral cantal lines, it's probably the biggest bang for your buck, just to put four units right in that point. Now, a few millimeters either side of it, you get really different results, and that's really what's worth understanding. Once you go more lateral, which often new injectors do in order to be safer, you end up basically missing the muscle and you're injecting somewhere over the temporalis muscle. And this is really gonna do almost nothing for your patient. Perhaps a small amount of atrophy of that muscle if you were to inject deep enough. The medial injection is used in oculoplastics and it's used by ophthalmologists for people with blepharospasm. So if the muscle is continuously contracting, you can actually treat that with an injection near this point. Now, depth is super important here, and anyone who's injecting this area will know the anatomy, you would hope. Making sure that you are above the orbicularis oculi muscle or maybe just touching it, but certainly not on the other side where you're going through the fat into the orbital membrane, where because obviously on that side, you'll be injecting directly into the orbit and you'll be likely to affect either the lacrimal gland, which resides just here, or you may affect the levator pulpary muscle, which resides up here, or you can see it here. And that injection point, therefore, is almost never done in aesthetic medicine, but you can do it for other reasons. So I hope that's helped you understand how small differences in injection points can make big differences to patients. If you'd like to learn more about anatomy and botulinum toxin, as well as a whole lot more, make sure you sign up to the waiting list for my new movement. It's not open yet, but we'll let you know when it is.